Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and a video that I am really excited to share with you today because I think I kind of determined that this is the one thing that I really live by in my wardrobe and it's that one thing that I always, always do without fail whenever I'm getting dressed and it is kind of the fundamental part to my whole wardrobe and outfits and getting ready. Um, and that is the details and the accessories and the layering and just all of those little things building together to create the outfit. So what I wanted to do is just really demonstrate that point to you today um, and why I think it's so important to add these details into your looks. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you three very basic looks from what I would say a kind of classic capsule wardrobe and then what I'll do is show you how to create something more interesting out of that because I think typically we think basics and we think boring. Um, so I just really want to demonstrate that you can have a classic capsule wardrobe. You don't need to buy and buy and buy. You can have those staple pieces, but make them interesting by injecting some fun things, some different things, um, and layering those and playing around with them and mixing and matching them. Um, so hopefully this will be useful for you to take away into your own wardrobes. I would also actually say that this is the most affordable way to be stylish as well. It's probably the most fundamental way for me, but also the most affordable in terms of you don't have to buy designer pieces or um, expensive pieces. These can be things you could pick up secondhand, vintage, on the high street to really elevate your looks. So let's get into the first outfit. The first combination, very simple, a white t-shirt, we all have one, um, some grey wide leg trousers, but this you could constitute for black wide leg trousers or wide leg jeans or straight leg jeans, just some kind of simple trousers, white t-shirt, and then I've gone for the camel coat. But again, this is very much a kind of outfit formula and showing you the basics. It doesn't have to be a camel coat. It doesn't have to be the exact coat. Just be a plain coat, t-shirt, and some simple bottoms that you wear all the time. Very simple outfit that we can all throw together. But I think to begin with, it does look a little bit bland, a little bit basic, a little bit workwear as well. And I just want to show how to make that fun and different. So I'm gonna start here by adding something to my feet to create a full outfit. And I'm going to opt for these trainers from Hush. These are a little bit different, a little bit fun. They've got a bit of color on. They've got this gray running through, which um, combines really nicely with the trousers and also the purple and blue, just giving a bit of something extra. But it doesn't have to be these trainers. Any kind of trainer would look nice with this outfit. And it's all about creating, like I say, those details, those moments. And for me, this is about the smartness of the trousers contrasted with the casual trainers just creates a little bit more interest within the outfit. So what else can we think of to put into this outfit? Something we probably often neglect is hair and hair accessories and what we can play around with there. Now hair accessories are going to be what I would call a micro trend for this season. I guess the idea of a micro trend to me is something that's quite minimal in itself. It's not something bold and out there like, um, like you'd consider a trend. It's something a little bit more subtle than that. And hair accessories will definitely be one of those. And also a micro trend to me is something that is kind of around all the time. Hair accessories never really go out of date, but something that maybe is taking a spotlight this season. So here I've gone for this cashmere um, scrunchie from Cos. It doesn't have to be a cashmere one and it doesn't have to be this exact scrunchie. In fact, this one is no longer available because it's from last year. But some kind of maybe scrunchie that fits your style. For me, I prefer a little bit more minimal, like the gray here, but you could go for something really fun if that's a bit more your style. It's just a really easy, affordable way to inject something into your look that instantly looks more stylish. And I think really, I concluded this um, when I was in Paris. I decided to take a lot of basics. If you watch my previous video, 
on how to pack for a city break and what I took to Paris, I concluded that all my pieces I took were real interchangeable basics and that actually all I needed were these fun, interesting accessories to completely change the look. I kind of was putting my outfits on in the morning and thinking, oh, this is a little bit plain. And then as soon as I started to add those accessories in, I thought, oh no, this has completely transformed it. So it's all about thinking about those little things, like a scrunchie, you could add that to your hair, maybe a nice clip. I'm very into bows at the minute. Um, I've got one on its way. I think I mentioned this in the Paris video as well. Um, I've got a lovely velvet bow on its way, a headband. You don't have to add a hair accessory. You don't have to add all of these accessories in at once, but it's just another idea and suggestion of how you can create a bit more interest in your outfit without having to buy a whole new wardrobe. So I've mentioned that my new collection is launching with North School Women on Saturday and these beautiful hoops that I'm adding to the outfit are part of the collection. Now these to me are so, so wearable, but they also add that extra something to your outfit. They're not invisible. You still see them, but they're not, um, you know, real statement earrings, but you still notice them and they still elevate the outfit whilst also complementing the other accessories. They don't take away from the scrunchie and vice versa. So just a nice chunky hoop with this outfit again, just gives it a little bit of something extra and some more detail within the look. And I think really detail comes down mainly to accessories, maybe one or two items of clothing like jackets and shoes, but I think mainly accessories. So earrings is a really good place to start or, or jewelry in general. So something else you can do thinking about detail is add something like a jumper over your shoulders. It's a very simple and free styling hack that I think always look chic without fail. It never falls off my shoulders. I feel like I get some strange questions sometimes asking me how I keep my jumpers on my shoulders. They have never fallen off my shoulders when I've worn them like this. And it just looks, I think, really chic, effortless. It adds that kind of extra dimension, extra layer to your look. And also is actually quite practical because if it gets a bit cooler, you can actually wear it as an actual layer. Um, so I've gone here for this gray knit. I think something that's not too chunky works best over your shoulders, otherwise it can feel a bit boxy. But just throwing a jumper over your shoulders, is that extra added detail. Again, it doesn't take away from the other pieces because it's still quite minimal and plain, but it just adds that extra layer that we're building up here. And then of course, this is kind of weather dependent, but I wear my sunglasses probably 90% of the year, even if it's raining, I might have my sunglasses on me. So sunglasses for me are a real crucial part to my outfit when I'm going out and about. So I always will finish off with my sunglasses. I've gone for my Celine ones, but again, they don't have to be a specific brand or designer, um, but I think just adding in some sunglasses, again, kind of ties it all together and completes the look, as well as a handbag. Um, a great bag goes a long way. I've personally always been an investor in high-end bags, and all of mine have really stood the test of time. They're very, very wearable. The ones that I've really considered thoughtfully and carefully so that they have lasted in my wardrobe, and I really find that just popping them on with a very simple outfit really, really transforms it. So it's something to consider if you are looking to purchase a luxury bag, I think it's definitely worth taking some time to consider making sure you get a great one because it does transform your outfits equally. There are so many great bags out there. I think just finding something that really suits your style, that suits your existing wardrobe and that you know is gonna be practical and useful for you, um, just make sure you really consider it, I think, before any purchase, especially a bag, because it really is the kind of cherry on the top of the cake. So let's move on to my next basic look. And the three that I'm gonna show you today are actually based around more daytime looks but I think you can easily apply these steps to any outfit that you've got. It doesn't have to be daytime looks. You could go for an evening look, an office look. You can essentially apply these tips to every single outfit you create, no matter where you're going. Even if you're going for a walk in the countryside, this is something I do. So here I'm starting with my black merino knit from Arquette. 
If you're looking for one of these, highly, highly, highly recommend this one. I'll try and link it below if it's available. And then these jeans from Hush, these are a kind of straight leg denim. Um, Hush jeans are also very, very, very comfortable. I have a couple of pairs now and I love them. So anyway, these are my straight leg style. Again, very simple outfit, nothing to write home about, a little bit plain, but it's got the basics in there. So how are we gonna make this into something a little bit more interesting? So footwear is a place for me where I can have a little bit of fun in my wardrobe. I sometimes will opt slightly more trend-led pieces in my footwear because I do think your shoes really can transform your outfit. A bit like your bag, but you'll always have your shoes on. Your bag, you might take off, but your shoes you'll always have on. So it's a place to have a little bit more fun and creativity, I think. What I've gone for is these Loeffler Randall shoes. I think I mentioned in the last video that I was so excited for these to arrive. They've arrived, I wore them out yesterday, walked all around Manchester and they are incredibly comfortable. Um, if you don't live in the US, they don't charge import shipping fees in a sense that you get a fee when they arrive in your country. All of their fees are actually paid for when you pay for the item. I think, it, is it DHL or DPD? I can't remember which one, um, but they basically include the import fees and customs fees um, within your shipping total. So you won't get any kind of nasty surprises when your item arrives. You know what you've already paid. You pay for it at checkout when you're buying them. But anyway, total side note. Um, but I absolutely adore these shoes. And as I say, very comfortable. I went for a size US nine, which I think is about six and a half UK, which is so comfortable. I think they just really elevate the jeans, make them something different. Ballet flats, again, a micro trend for the season. When I was kind of searching for these, I saw a picture of Lauren Bacall in some, obviously years and years and years ago. They just look so chic. So although ballet flats are having a bit of a trend, uh, a bit of a moment, they're very timeless at the same time. So I'll be able to wear these forever. Anyway, enough about these shoes, but I think they do elevate the look. But again, any shoes that kind of elevate something maybe a little bit different with a slight twist is always a good option to go for. So the next thing I'm gonna add is a blazer. Now, talking about the details, I think a blazer like this is so useful. So this is like um, a kind of houndstooth style um, blazer, like kind of herringbone-ish blazer. And I absolutely love it from Sana New York. Uh, I think this is on their site at the minute actually, but it really just elevates every single look. And like I say, it's in the details. It's the cut of this, it's the shape, it's the print of it, it's the colors in that, it's the brownie and grays and blacks, um, just all work so nicely together. So if you are thinking about buying clothes as well, especially if they're something slightly higher price point, definitely worth looking at those small details within the item. So it really does apply to your actual clothes as well as your accessories. So I've just added the blazer in. Again, extra layer of dimension, some interest to the look, and you can see the outfit building together. So then I've added in the belt. This one is from Arquette. And just any kind of belt, again, would work nicely with this. I've gone for the black belt to kind of keep it cohesive with the shoes. But just think about what accessories maybe you already own, utilize your belt, utilize your jewelry, you know, really make the most of it and play around with it as well. For my earrings, I've gone for some chunky gold ones from my collection. Um, they're so fab, I just love these. They're not too statement that they take away from the outfit, but they do look quite bold and they have that nod to the 80s, which I love, and I think the blazer does as well. And then my bag and sunglasses, my Bottega sunglasses I absolutely love. But again, just looking for those small details in the accessories, like the tortoise shell with the gold on the um, sunglasses, those little things, and then Combining them all together, all of these accessories and the layering just works to create something a little bit different, a little bit more interesting. But equally, if you think about it, this outfit could have gone completely the other way. If you paired it with something really bland and plain, it could have stayed that way. Whereas we've really elevated it just using those small details and layering up the accessories. So let's move on to the final look. So just a couple of other ways to elevate your outfit. So here I've got on this cream kind of oversized round neck jumper with my straight leather trousers. Again, 
pretty simple, pretty basic, and it needs something to it to, you know, add a bit of personality and a bit of fun. So one way to do that is you could add something like a silk or satin scarf. I've gone for this one here. It's actually one from a charity shop that I got years and years ago, but it's always something I pull out every now and again. If I'm feeling a bit stuck in a rut and feel like I need to mix things up a bit. And I definitely think the silk scarf is something that maybe we tend to neglect. But like I say, you don't have to spend a fortune. I got mine in a charity shop. I don't know, it was a couple of pounds or something. It just comes in really handy every now and again. So think about accessories outside of the box that you maybe don't utilize and think how you can just add these to your basic pieces because I think sometimes something like a silk or satin scarf is maybe a little bit daunting. You probably think oh, it's a little bit out there, maybe I don't know how to style it, but just simply add it to your basic outfits and it works really nicely and it just gives it that lift. So then I've added this coat over the top. This is like a blazer style coat, just something to kind of smarten it up and tie in with the kind of smarter style of scarf, but it's still casual underneath. And then what I've done is gone for these chunky boots. Again, all about the little details. It's the zip details on these flattered boots. Give it something a little bit extra. And like I say, I always go slightly more trend led with my footwear, even though it's very, very wearable. It's a simple black boot, but but it just feels a little bit more trend led with the zip and the chunky. Um, so just kind of makes the outfit feel a little bit fresher. Don't forget to add your rings, bracelets, necklaces. You don't have to do this all in one go. Um, you don't have to add all of these accessories in one go. And that's why I've done three different outfits because different things work you know, with different outfits. You don't have to go for the belt, for the necklace, for the scarf, for the earrings, for the scrunchie, all at once. You can kind of break that down. But it's just definitely something to keep in your mind as a reminder to create some interest in your wardrobe. And then I've just finished off the outfit with this bag from Polen and my sunglasses. Again, don't neglect little things like sunglasses. They make a big difference to your outfit. Obviously, weather dependent, where you're going, etc. But they do make a big difference to your outfit. And I also really like to wear them on my head. Say if I'm kind of going shopping, it's a bright day, and I'm just going inside, I pop them on my head because I feel like they're still the accessory and still part of the outfit. So I think it's something to think about, maybe that we don't normally do, or maybe you just kind of are thinking a bit inside the box, like sunglasses are just for sun. But actually, they make a really cool accessory. You could pop them on your t-shirt so they're just hanging down in a pocket. Little things like that is something I think are really important to style. And also to adding your own personality into the outfits as well. Um, I think that's really crucial. Like I say, you don't have to go for what I've said. That's not the idea of this video. The intention of this video is to give you um, suggestions so that you can go into your wardrobe and rethink how you see things and how you pair things and how you layer things. And hopefully this will give you a kind of springboard and platform to go away and do that. So I hope you've enjoyed. Everything will be linked below where possible and alternatives if not. Um, my outfit, by the way, sauna New York blazer, under the stories, shirt and jeans, and my veiler sunglasses and uh, nautical earrings from my collection. So thank you again for watching. Subscribe if you are enjoying my videos. I can't believe how many subscribers we are on, on at the minute. It's just going crazy and I'm so thankful. Yeah, I just really can't thank you enough. So subscribe if you've not already and I will see you in my next video.